Is there anything that's exciting that you think people should sort of pay attention to and sort of think about what's coming? Yeah. So I really like uh, the ahead of time compilation. I mm -hmm. think that's uh, pretty amazing stuff. And I think what the exciting part is, is that we got a full pipeline in there. Like it's not obvious from the outside, but we are essentially just like a regular compiler. We take the, the inputs, we build up an ASTs, we can do transforms on these ASTs, and then we can write them out into a lot of different targets. And we actually do write them already for one of the type, type, uh, targets is TypeScript. Mm -hmm. Another target is um, pure JavaScript so that we can eval it in the browser. And if your browser doesn't allow CSP, we can actually eva, uh, eval, or rather run the AST in kind of an interpretive mode as well. Okay. And so this allows us to do a lot of different ways of kind of handling the change detection and, and the framework. But the thing I'm really excited is, is going forward, we can now start doing optimizations on this AST, right? So just like compilers, you can say dash 09 or whatever, right? And, and they can do tricks. Our compiler now, having the AST, can kind of realize that, oh, certain things are constants and we can fold them in. Yeah. Or they are uh, never going to change because of some NGA or something like that. So I think over time, you'll see that we'll be able to like optimize a lot of things uh, yeah. away and become even faster than we already are. What is uh, your favorite Angular 2 feature? There is so many. I think the templates must be my favorite. It, they really turned out well in the sense that uh, you can statically analyze them and it yeah. enables the tooling. And already we see a lot of different tools come in come online. But I think over time we will see just more and more of these things come on. Uh, which will allow just for more productivity for the users, right? So outside of Angular, outside of Google, what uh, what do you kind of what do you do in the evenings and the weekends outside of in your free time? You don't ask a parent whether he has free time. It just <laughs> doesn't exist. Free time is what single people have. Oh. Uh, most of my time is actually spent with my kids. Yeah, all of them. I have three kids, all boys. If you didn't go into engineering or mm -hmm. development, what do you think? What do you think you would have done? I don't know. Uh, maybe I would follow in my parents' footsteps and become a doctor. Yeah. But like, I'm really passionate about engineering. It's it's a kind of a different thing than, I, although in both cases you're helping people, but like it's it's a very different way of helping. Yeah, yeah. So how how famous would you say you were from zero to Beyonce? <laughs> Um, I'm not quite sure I understand the measuring system. <laughs> it's interpretive. So, so it's like, like okay, uh, I don't know. I would say like probably two orders of magnitude off of okay. the answer. Okay. <laughs>